Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Strategy Professor. Today we're going to be doing another episode in our Isabella von Karstein von Karstein campaign for Total War Warhammer 2. Alright, let's go ahead and get back in here. So last time, we cleaned up the dwarves over here. Uh, let's see, we got Lightning Strike. Um... If you'd like to sponsor a campaign yourself, you can just email me at thestrategyprofessor at gmail.com. More than happy to help you out with that. Uh, right now, I'm doing $25 for 20 episodes. Um, but email me first before you donate and just uh, get a timeline. I do have, I'm starting to collect a backlog of these. <laughs> um, so I want to, you know, be able to give you a realistic timeline of when I can start doing it. I might have to start doing like 15 episodes or something or like start doing like 45 minute episodes. Something to try to get more of these in because a lot of people are very interested in this. So... Anyways, check that out. And be sure to like and subscribe as well. It just is a free couple of button clicks. If you made it this deep in the campaign, you probably really enjoy it. Uh, I looked at last month's analytics, and it was something like 80% of the people that watch the videos on the channel are unsubscribed right now. And usually, like historically, over the past couple of years, that's been closer to 50-50. So we got a lot of newcomers, which is fantastic. Just make sure that you click those couple of buttons. It does help out a ton. If you're worried because I release a lot of videos every day and you don't want me to clog up your feed, perfectly understandable. Just don't hit the bell button and it won't give you the notifications. Um, although if you want the notifications, obviously hit the bell button. But if that's what's holding you back, you can deal with that. But if you just want to help support this kind of content, those couple of clicks help out a ton. Okay. Um, all right, so we've got we've got Lightning Strike. That was the big, the big one. Now... I think just Student of the Dark Arts. 15% uh, power reserve and one extra Mortis Engine. Mortis Engine is really good. She does have Red Fury. Now, what are some of these things? Now, we're going to. We're starting to get a good clump of, like, Graveguard, Cairn Race. We still have a very diverse unit force. Remember, that's why I didn't go into the Red Tree, because it is so diverse, like the army, a lot of times, except for the million vampires that we have. Um, and so, like, there's not one of these things that just seems to affect a lot of stuff that we're going to have. Like Knight's Death Carriage. And the upgrades aren't that great. Like, speed and charge bonus is not that amazing. Um, that for the Grave Guard. We've already got the Grave Guard one. It's for Crypt Horrors, Vargeist, Vargulfs, and Terrorgeist. That one would be okay. The strength is pretty decent. Um, I just want to be able to get to these bonuses over here. Black Knights, Blood Knights, Corpse Cart, Hex Wraith, Mortis Engine gets 8% ward save, which is pretty good. Crypt Horrors, Vargulfs. And then that is for Terror Geist and Vargeists. We could also just get more magic if we wanted to get, like, give her some extra invocation of Nehek, just in case we start running short on that. We do have one Terrorgeist. Extra Vampiric Corruption is okay. We're only going to have one Vargulf, but that's alright. I guess we can start getting uh, Creatures of the Night here. Yeah, let's start that, and then we can get this upgrade. Those upgrades for the high high tier units, which is probably going to have a lot of high tier units, so. I think that affects a lot of our units. We'll go ahead. We'll get that one. Okay, and then her. So we're starting to work towards Purple Sun here. getting pretty close to his uh, super corpse card, I think. What is that's level 16. Uh, we never use raise dead. It's just kind of a <laughs> waste of space, but... Okay. So we already attacked with her. These guys are 
21. We are still equipping here. What is this? Okay, we need... Tax rate up, growth rate down. Oh, we could actually get tier 4 here. We are pretty rich. I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, we could just go ahead and get tier 4. That would allow us to get over to some of these guys. And then, of course, some of these other favorites allow us to get necromancers and all of that. More terror guys. I don't know how these guys are going to be classified. They're probably going to be elite. There's a cr It's crowded for elite units right now. I'll go ahead and do it. Now, this is a place where I would be interested, potentially, in getting the bale fires going, but... It's kind of awkward that, like, this place has gotten more growth than this place, but it's because this place has been sacked more. Okay, so that's all good. Diplomacy, I don't think... Let's see options, really. Okay, we're just gonna start murdering all these guys. Who calls me? Dwarves shouldn't really be a major threat down there, I don't think. Castle Drakenhof, we're about to get. Why are we getting Binding Circle? Oh, it gives us one more Banshee. Okay, so we're already on it. We're trying to get another Banshee. Okay, then eventually that's going to level up and go to Low Zone of Darkness. Okay. Okay, good. So we will have one more Banshee for her. So I really want that for the crack walls. So we don't have to wait there for uh, battering rams or siege towers. Who owns all of that? Is that all Empire? Dwarves are gaining pro Oh, it's Ostermark. Vesenland. Okay, it's just like both this burgundy color. Kislev has a lot of that stuff. Shall I hear thine words? Peace treaty. <clears throat> um, I mean, sure, they're... I don't care about their property right now. Ooh, okay, the dwarves took over this now, so we're gonna have to definitely fight the dwarves. Dwarves were in a weak place militarily. They had been, I guess, beaten up by the Greenskins down here. But they have a lot of property. So that means they have a lot of resources, which means they will have another army here soon. Okay, Eastern Sylvania. Grey Herd. Okay. How much more health does this give? A little. I mean, it's like 700 more health, which is legit. It just makes you vulnerable to spears. So that's, once again, why we're not getting that. She's so fast anyway. She can already get flanks. It's just... I don't want to have to worry about her. Countess of Sylvania. Okay, so do we start with Overheim? We at war. Uh, we're not at war with Vesenland yet. Well, we're definitely about to be at war with Vesenland because they're in our way. 
Uh, border princes we're not at war with. Guess we can let Vicenland have the Empire. Little zone here. Ratings fifty percent. <clears throat> Dang it, we can only go 50 without taking attrition. Is that going to be enough to hit him in two turns, though? How much attrition am I taking? Not much. I think we can just kill him anyways. I mean, maybe this is getting kind of hubris. Some hubris here. But I don't, I don't think they're going to stop us. We have a ton of leadership on everything, right? Oh, quite a lot. Yeah, I would definitely go for channeling. Three thousand. Yeah, that's that's an expensive roster. Yes. We're gonna have to come over here and start guarding this stuff. And what is this guy? Do? I don't know where he's going or what he's doing, but yes. My thralls, track ahead! Victory, Nashrock's lair. Okay, so we need to go ahead and burn this stuff. You're not right, Ned! <sighs> okay, did we complete... Okay, we did complete that, so now we can get a Banshee, I believe, right? Can't wait, can't wait another few turns for the Banshees. So she goes... She causes terror anyways. What? That's like the trollest uh, <laughs> ability. She yeah, already naturally causes terror. Um, magical item drop the chance is probably something I'm really interested in. So go with her, and then we'll just get rid of one of these. How much is this? We might need to trim this stuff down a little bit. I think we got to get rid of these hex rates. As cool as they are, like, they're so expensive. I just feel like these guys are just... I mean, these guys are almost as expensive also. Yeah, Isabella just gets a huge discount on a lot of stuff. I feel like this is going to be overkill on those dwarves. This is not even good for sieges. I mean, that's what we're going to be doing most of the time. Darkness comes. Get rid of that, dude. These are bad on sieges too, but it's this doesn't take up an elite unit slot. That's the thing. Those knights are basically free, as far as like unit slots go. Whatever, that's fine. Trim it, it down a little night. bit. Okay. Uh, Fort Oberstyr, we're just gonna leave that because it, it's likely gonna get sacked again by somebody. We even need a cemetery. We could throw down walls there, but I didn't want to use the growth on that. I know a lot of times people are like, oh my god, the walls, you gotta have walls everywhere. It's like, it's okay to let some of your properties fall that don't matter that much and just take them back again the next turn rather than spending two growth. Because I've had people tell me, especially in the Empire campaign, someone always tells me, oh, you know, you got one of your four initial towns like sacked eventually. You should have put walls there. It's like, but if you do that, it takes three growth. Every time you want to do that, you have to upgrade it to tier two, which is one growth, and then upgrade to tier three, which is three growth. So it's going to cost you three growth every time you want to do that, and that slows down your progression of your main town a lot. It's like, really? Like, how much gold is that town outputting for us right now, right? Like, 200 gold. So you're telling me I need to drop, like, you know, 10,000 gold or something to upgrade this thing and upgrade all those buildings and slow down my progression of my main town by like 15 turns 
So that I can, like, protect that 200 gold income. Come on. So, yeah, walls are nice, but they're a luxury, especially in, like, your main uh, couple of towns where you need to tech it up, which are these two. So, it's not a big deal. If they sack it, you just sack it. You just, like, take it back in a couple of turns. Um, like, I walled this. I walled Swartzhofen. Um, because that was the town that I started with, and it was already, I think it was already level two. Um, so yeah, sometimes you put walls in, but like walling up every single place in every single town is just not viable, or it's not, definitely not optimal on legendary because it, there's just so many financial restrictions on legendary, and you really need to get to high levels, like, of tech. That's how you end up beating the AI a lot of times is you... Have a smarter tech route than they do. And you leverage your windows of power. It's like you hit that tier 3, you get whatever your powerful tier 3 unit is, and boom, you're going, you know? Actually, I kind of need Augury. Because I don't have Augury with her yet. So I do want Purple Sun, but Augury is, and Benediction are extremely important if it's only one vampire in this army. It's just a massive leadership bonus. I hunt. So we should be able to kill that and get so far, I believe. Kill. It does feel good to get a ton of gold <laughs> off of fights. Move. There's some factions where you just get virtually nothing. You get way less. Hmm. Now, Children of the Night is very good too, but we are already like kind of maxed out on vampires. 15% um, for Lords and Heroes is good. I mean, we'll eventually get that, but... I think Restless Dead so I can move faster. And then probably like dark packed. It's kind of weird to spread it out this much <laughs> early on. Usually you just go down one tree, but there are a lot of one point wonders. Like this is five leadership, this is five leadership. That's regeneration, that's movement speed. So it's important. Um, all right, let me just knock out stuff. Bar, I think. What? Who's at war with them? Can I get anyone to pay me to go to war with these dwarves? Aye. We need to hit them before they get big armies back, because, like I said, they have a ton of property here. Um, no one that I know of. Okay, so we're just going to have to fight them. Talk, then, but I make no oath for the surety of your life. Do not call those in, because they will betray me, most likely. Oh, and Ostermark was already at war. Okay, well... Waldenhof is walled, so Ostermark's not going to be able to deal with that, I don't think. Now, so drink them dry. Time to die. Real? Maybe I should have hit the walls first. I thought it was going to let me auto this. Get a battering ram, damn it! I should have, um, I should have used the banshee on this first, because you can't banshee it. Right, I guess we'll just do siege towers, and we're gonna have to wait a turn. I legit thought it was gonna let us auto resolve this. I mean, I guess I could try to auto it, because we're gonna slaughter it. There's no way they hold. If we lose, what do we lose, though? We'll probably just take a bunch of damage. I don't think it's going to kill everything. I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Okay. So we took a bunch of damage, but there's not an army anywhere near us. So 
We should be able to replenish all of it back. We would have won that fight. It would just would have taken a long time to pound down that door. We would have just climbed the rafters and they would not be able to beat us. I could have at least put the Banshee in there to join her, but... Expand Sylvania's borders. Ah, Zephbar. <laughs> We've been here before, friends. I forgot how we even lost it. I think the dwarves... Didn't the dwarves come down and take it? Or I just let it fall to rebellions? You dare. That's the public order, which is too difficult to deal with. I still think Children of the Night is probably good. We are going to have a good chunk of lords and heroes in our army. And we do want to get to Lightning Strike pretty quickly and Uncanny Presence. Now, Zombie, Skeletons, Crypt Pools, and Crypt Horde. I think we have to have three in this, and then we can go down there and mess with that. Oh, I forgot. We need to get in the heck also. Be like upgraded in the heck. This night. Okay, don't need to recruit. We still do have some growth here. But not a crazy amount. I want to spend gold on that. Six turns. God, it takes so long to level this crap up. I'm not even sure if this property is worth it, honestly, but I need to just hold it just so dwarves can't get it. And then I need to liberate um, the greenskins here. I think is how we want to run it. Okay. Speak. Ability for sure. I mean, this does have walls. Is it gonna make us? Uh, it's probably gonna make us fight it. Okay, let's put that banshee to work here. Failure. Wow. See, once again, beast and land. Can anyone pay Who us? Calls? Skaven. Military allied with Zifflin. Defensive allies with Karakaren and all this stuff. This might make us unreliable. Of course, we're not declaring war on Karakaren. They're declaring war on us, so I think that's going to hurt their stuff. Uh, everybody's friend. Isabel. Whatever. Isabel. If they all want a piece, they can come over and get it. Once again, I'm not trying to bring Sterling into this because I think they might betray us. Um, yeah, we're just going to fight it and just climb the rafters and murder him. Because we're not, we're not waiting. We are impatient. <laughs> and they have no, absolutely zero chance of winning this fight. They just cannot beat the regeneration squad here. Like, vampires, part of what makes vampires so strong, I know I've talked about, like, why they're so strong all over the place, but they are small units also. And there are far less things that can deal with super powerful small units. Because, like, halberds are traditionally how you deal with, like, really strong, like, in-game units, because most of them are large. They're, like, large cavalry, large monsters that type of stuff, but that doesn't work. There's a lot less anti-infantry stuff out there. It's there, like you've got your greatsword units, but halberds, I think, are much more dangerous to large units than anti-infantry stuff is to small units, small individual units, because it doesn't have the reach. The halberds have the two range. So they just That's part of why they just obliterate large units most of the time, because they just get so much more surface area. But Vampire. greatswords don't have that kind of range. 
Like, they're good at wiping out, like, large hordes of small things. Like, they have area attacks, but they don't have the range. Um... So it just creates a lot of mismatches that are like very difficult to try to deal with. The living will join us. Start deployment's fine. Next we have quite a large power reserve now. I think this thing gives some Focus extra. Firing at oh, I'm gonna get the bar. We'll try to beat down the gate too. See how it goes. Uh, we can go ahead and pop this as soon as it's ready. Just land on top. I don't have any spears up here. There's no. No, I think we can just pop down up here. We can throw her up there too. I hunger. Vampire. Swiftly. I serve my sire. So many kills. Oh, they got my Vargle. They let him in. That's what it is. They're trolling. Alright, well, y'all want to troll? Let him in. These guys off these walls. So much death. The dead are mine. See, they're like not letting me through. Die. Can he get out? Rise. No, it's like not letting him out, but it's not letting everyone else in. I really, really hate that bug. Alright, let's just roll up here. And it won't let me attack the door either. Exploitation to the max. Y'all want to exploit, huh? Y'all want to play games, huh? They even try to cheese. I can get around it. I mean, I don't know how you beat this. Like, this this is like what turn forty or something into the campaign. If you're like the AI, this is just like a monumental power spike. I mean, even without the um, the Vargul and like this thing are nice. Like they're doing stuff, but like we could already crush them even without that with just the Vargeists. Answer. 
Oh, I can't go any further because we're trapped out here. With haste. Their time has come. Whatever, that's fine. Wolfkin or confident? Yeah, they gotta be unbreakable. Be a damn fool to be confident. Okay, hold on. Vampire! At once! Swiftly! Swiftly! How many kills did she get? 500 something? <laughs> Your time has come! It does almost no damage to the vampires. Like, I tried doing this strategy a little bit with Empire, where you just throw out some of their heroes and, like, cast huge Vortex spells. Doesn't work out as well. Uh, it works pretty well with um, Wizardmen. Which I had a Wizardmen campaign going, too, but they're, they've got new uh, Wizardmen DLC coming out. Sometimes I get a little... <laughs> I play a lot more Warhammer than I should, I'll put it that way in my spare time. It's like, well, I could be working on this dissertation. I could also be good for Warhammer. Death to the living! <sighs> All right. Look at that. Almost no casualties. The only things that died were Graveguard. I just love me some vampire counts. I know I said that like a million times. But there's just like such diverse units. Just a bazillion regeneration. I love large monsters too. I just think they're very cool and just unique. You just don't have those in most other Total War games. Like you got like some elephants and Attila. Just the aesthetic of it is cool. And like once you start getting to those tier, you know, tier 4 units... Um, the Vargas are tier 3, which, the way they've changed them, they should probably be tier 4, honestly. Like, they are, because they gave them the, it's like double regeneration, and they made them um, smaller entity count. So it's 6 instead of 12. It's like 12 or 15 in the base game. And they are a lot easier to kill in the base game. They are not nearly as good, and they're very expensive. And the crypt, but the thing is, like, in the base game, the Cryptors are the overpowered unit. Like, in this one, the Cryptors have been nerfed. They're way worse. But there's always something. <laughs> it's really strong with the Vampire Counts.
Okay, what were we were working on creatures of the night, but now that I'm thinking about it, I think we actually need invocation. Just in case we need multiple invocations. So we need to get at least one, two, and then uh, undeath, and then war of vampires will make it even cheaper a little bit. And it also gives four extra corruption. She has to be like undercover, like one of the best legendary lords in the game. I, I think she might actually be, if you include her passive with all those vampires, like that that has to be the biggest early game power spike I can think of. It's just like stacking up like however many vampires we had early, like five vampires. <laughs> you know, at like whatever, eight turns into the game. It's just like tremendous. Okay, I think. I mean, I always want to say, well, there's a world where I might use Pit of Shades or Occam's Razor, but there's not, really, there's not. I'm always going to be casting the heck in Purple Sun. And maybe the, the debuff from the purple one in, like, a serious fight. I'm just never going to use Shadow Magic. But they're so good at fighting, it just doesn't even matter if I can use their magic or not. Okay, corruption's going up a little bit here. Some osmosis. Now, this is a place where I would like to get the Balefire going. We don't have any trades. That's not going to matter. Um... Yes, so let's get that Balefire rolling in. It's like prime Balefire country here. I'm gonna try that out. Uh, do not need that. I wanna just get some public order. We may not ever need to hire again. I mean, it's possible we need to hire, but I think we can just raise dead. At least not for a little while. Did we get a kiss? We did not get a kiss for that. We're gonna have to kill this dude, and then I think we get a kiss. And we're gonna have to go down there and kill him because we don't want to um we don't want to get backdoored by him. And they might come at us over here. Um Oh, we can't even get this stuff. I forgot about that. Growth, public order, and whatever. We'll just leave it alone. Okay, so we did all that. We're not going to upgrade Zephar just yet. Uh, everything else is all good. Temple Hall's upgrading. Now, this stuff's going to be very expensive. So, you know, we need to be, we need to be ready for that. I think I might want to go north. If I, I don't know if I can hit it in one turn or not, but um, just awaken the tribe on the green skins for now. Thou shalt treat me with the respect I deserve, or die. Oh man. Yeah, my reliability is very low, which sucks because basically I declared war on somebody that was a defensive. Like I had a peace treaty with Karakirn. So I guess it counted it as a problem for me. I mean, not that it matters. I can't get any treaties with anybody. Everybody hates me. Um, it matters when it comes to the other vampire counts, like confederating with them, but they didn't like me anyways. Um, but yeah, I declared war on somebody that I didn't have a peace treaty with, but their defensive allies I had a peace treaty with, so... It should hurt their stuff, too, because they had to declare war on me, and we had a peace treaty, so it should hurt both of them, but I don't even know if that affects the AI. 
AI's behavior that much. They're they're still gonna band together against me. Sigma forbids this. How many years? Absolutely not. I refuse. Never. This? Okay, so they have a hell of a lot on it. No. Okay, I can't even reach him in one turn. I will not obey. Monster Mark is rolling up. Okay, okay, so we have Balefire. I think just to get it. There are other options. We have Blood Tax. Don't care too much for the growth. Maybe the money's worth. But I think Public Order is definitely what I'm interested in here. Thirty, like forty-one corruption from them being here. Okay, we can't go too crazy here, so I need to do. Um, Soul bite, purple. Okay, so this is my main caster. Could do fate of Yuna. Maybe cheaper spirit leech. How much cheaper? Two West for Spirit Leech. Maybe that's worth. I mean, that's good against, like, but Purple Sun is just so much better most of the time. But that's good against, like, the really elite units. It can be difficult, like, really high tier Halberds or something. Chaos Halberds. I forgot I even had Doom and Darkness. That would actually be really nice against, um, against them. I mean, we could go Immortal Will and stuff like that. I think we're just going to Spirit Leech. Alright, Shadows, just Wild Eye. Alright, so I think... Is this Forest? Yes. Now we should have plus 25% ambush chance. Oh, it's Grassland. Okay. get this extra ambush chance here. Now this is where it'll be very nice because if they try to roll up on me, like, like if these groups go over here on me then we can beat them. Um, if they don't, then I can lightning strike down the 20 stack Sigma. army and no. then attack the other one and probably get it. I refuse. Okay, so we can take out Oakenhammer, or we can go ahead and start going for Grom's Peak. Doesn't look like Ostermark's coming down here at me right now. You dare! Okay, let's go up here and see if we can go ahead and awaken these green skins. How close are we? Darkness comes. I think that it's tough to say if that's going to be enough. I'm going to go ahead and raid him, I guess. Fifty percent. Flight. A pact will be placed. It's really annoying running through the mountains if you don't have the underway like movement stuff, which I don't. So that's why I don't want to try to come through here and conquer this. It's just going to take way too long. But what I can do is um, awaken Greenskins here, maybe. Try to befriend them and just use them as like a guard against the dwarves, at least a little bit. The dwarves will probably still run them over, but they'll at least have to send a serious army up here. Percent upkeep. 
Wait. Lamy and gifts. Oh, this one, yeah. That is pretty nice. Okay, so here, just iron pit, I guess. Because it gives money. Here, still waiting on this stuff. Two turns. Got all that. We moved everybody. We're all good. We don't have a ton of properties yet. Okay. Go next. So we'll see if they try to run up there and retake that town. Sterling must be like, uh, guys, we're <laughs> getting completely surrounded by vampire counts. Guys, is this weird? Is this normal? They're taking over everything around us. You think we're safe? Okay, now they're posturing a little more aggressively. Yeah, Horn Ripper tried like likes me a little bit. Probably don't want the beastman coming after me, but also don't want. I mean, I am gonna kill Sterling at some point. already have negative stuff. I think I just decline and break the alliance. Now they might take out my tier one, but I can take them out here in a second. I only needed Sterling as a small buffer zone there. But now that we're crushing everything in that area, I think we can just... Okay, well they spotted my ambush, even though I had a 100% chance. Now, I could retreat. If I retreat, um, there's a chance I retreat back to the, like, that they both can't reach me. And then I could lightning strike them down next turn. Or I could just fight them and just say whatever. I mean, can they really beat me? How do they win? See, they have a couple of horses. Have one great sword. They have some heroes. I mean, we can obliterate the heroes. I just don't see how they do enough damage to kill me. They don't have enough burst damage to get through all the regeneration antics that we have. Yeah, I'll just fight it. I think we beat them. It'll be a fun fight. Now, I would not be surprised if Sterling tries to take out my tier one town again over there. We'll see. Now, we could, we might be able to reach Sterling from here. We might be able to go down there and knock them out. Yeah, I just, I think we just run him over.
Mm, she's particularly vulnerable to magic, so I'll keep her with this group. I think it has perfect vigor too. I think it's so overpowered. <laughs> I mean, it is a tier five unit, but I remember playing against that as like Empire and Wood Elves, and I'm like, oh my god, that thing is so strong. The Mortis engine. It's pretty strong in the base game too. Like, it's like next level strong here. Ooh, shoots some fireballs at me, huh? Can I dodge it. Oh, the dodge though. Unless they're aiming for something else. No, they're aiming for that. Next level. Alright, let's go. is rising. Still my beating heart. Vampire. Oh wait, here we go. Bring death. Their time has come. Vampire. On death, ascendant. The dead are 
probably gonna have to fight these guys again, so we need to try to kill as many as we can. Necromancer. Oh, he's going for my necro, huh? No. This little troll. Get him out of here. Need to waste magic on him. I can heal at the end. We are Isabella von Die! Yeah, they're gonna be able to run out probably. Let's go, group picture, group picture. The gods have abandoned us! Vampire! The living will join us with haste! I don't know if we're gonna have enough to get everybody in here before they all run off the map. Gotta hurry. Come on, group Vampire. picture. We give them their own little give them their what? own little party there. Swiftly. Now. now the Mortis Engine Life and he just naturally heal people also. No. Winds of death. I don't think the Mortis Engine brings people back to life, though. It just heals up their current unit stuff. It, really? Is it that close? Is it that close? Alright, alright, that Terror Geist. Putting in some work. I mean, maybe we should go multiple Terror Geist instead of, um... I don't know. The Var guys, they're still pretty strong, too. They're getting beaten up kind of hard there. I think they got into some halberds. They just have a lot less armor. It's a huge deal. The Terror guys gets a lot of those kills, though, because of that breath attack. But you know what? However you get the kills is however you get the kills. Yeah, we just can't give up that kind of money, I don't think. I mean, I would love to get the power reserves, but... Combat is personally involved in combat during multiple battles. So she gets a lot of kills. Hey, thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. Ooh, that's nice. They're all lining up for me. Ambush foiled it. Fuck Sigma, no! Mm, they might be able to go for Eshin. In fact, they almost certainly will go for Eshin. Which will be annoying, but I gotta go about my business up here. Okay, um, I guess we'll probably save this for next turn. Now, are we at, we're not at war with them yet, I don't think. We definitely have broken treaties. Now, some people like your treachery. <laughs> um, the beastmen like our stuff, for the most part. Like, you still get negative penalties with all factions, but um, as far as, like, they won't do a lot of diplomacy with you, but 
they uh Absolutely not. They will like it that you break treaties with certain people. You can break treaties in non-treacherous ways though, if you wait, you know, however many turns. Um, ten turns. Scroll of Black Horror is pretty nice. We'll put the Book of Ash on somebody. That's going to be it for this episode. We'll get back in um, on the next episode, so stay tuned for that. We will probably try to run through Wiesenland and maybe just go ahead and knock out Sterling while we're at it. Um, and just kind of go from there. It is going to be tough to cover all of this property um, with just one lord. So if we can get this sealed off, if we can awaken the Greenskin tribe here and kind of have some eyes up here to watch this for us and have a little army there, kind of like what we did over here, then they're at least going to have to send a fairly serious army over here, which means they're going to be more vulnerable to the Greenskins in the south. So hopefully we can do that. It worked out pretty well with this. Like, these guys just kind of sit here and chill and, you know, we're just watching after this property for me. Pretty much. Um... This is an actual faction, though, if I awaken that tribe, so it's not going to be rebels. It will be an actual faction. I think it's like the Red Eye. I think you can awaken Red Eye there. Maybe not, but there's like some green skins, I think, that usually start here. Um, but anyways, we'll do that next episode, so thank you very much for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. hope you're enjoying it. Um, special shout-out to Diego again for sponsoring the campaign. If you'd like to sponsor a campaign, just email me at gmail.com. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Check out the rest of the stuff on the channel as well. Um, we have a ton of other legendary content, uh, legendary campaigns, lots of guides, and feel free to stop by the stream sometime if you'd like as well. We'd love to have you. I'm usually streaming League of Legends, but I'm happy to talk about any Total War um, content that you have, or if you just want to give a shout-out or leave an extra like, um, you know, that's great too. So, anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.